நண்பர்கள் அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் சமீபத்தில் நான் பேசின தமிழ் வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கில மொழிபெயர்ப்போட ஆங்கிலத்தில் பேசப்பட்டு தீபா அவர்களால் பேசப்பட்டு மிகப்பெரிய ஒரு நல்ல வரவேற்பை பெற்று வருகின்றன அப்படிங்கிறது எல்லோருக்குமே தெரியும் கிட்டத்தட்ட நாற்பதுக்கும் மேற்பட்ட வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கிலத்தில் என்னுடைய தமிழ் வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கிலத்தில் மொழிபெயர்த்து போடப்பட்டு வருகின்றன மிகுந்த வரவேற்பை எல்லோருமே நல்லா வெல்கம் பண்ணுறீங்க தெரியுது இப்பொழுது ஏற்கனவே நான் பேசிய பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் ஒவ்வொரு தனித்தனி கிரகங்கள் அதாவது பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் சூரியன் சந்திரன் செவ்வாய் ராகு உள்ளிட்ட ஒன்பது கிரகங்கள் எந்த நிலையில் எப்படி இருந்தால் நல்ல பலன்களை தரும் என்பதை பேசிய ஒரு மிகுந்த வரவேற்பை பெற்ற பன்னிரெண்டு லக்ன வீடியோக்கள் இப்போது ஒவ்வொன்றாக ஆங்கிலத்தில் மொழிபெயர்க்கப்பட்டு அடுத்தடுத்து உங்களுக்கு வர இருக்கிறது இதில் என்ன ஒரு சிறப்பு என்னென்னா அவ்வப்போது உயர்நிலை வகுப்புகளில் நான் பேசிய சில விளக்கங்கள் சில சூற்றுமங்களை கூட தீபா அவர்கள் வந்து இந்த நடுவில் இந்த பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் ஒன்பது கிரகங்கள் தனித்தனியே என்ன பலன்களை செய்யும் என்ற ஆங்கில வீடியோக்களுக்கு நடுவே என்னுடைய உயர்நிலை வகுப்புகளில் நான் சொன்ன கருத்துக்களையும் இணைத்து தனித்தனி வீடியோவாக வெளியிட இருக்கிறார்கள் வழக்கம் போலவே இந்த ஆங்கில வீடியோக்களுக்கு உங்களுடைய வரவேற்பு இருக்கும் என்பதை நம்புகிறேன் வாழ்த்துக்கள் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் This program is brought to you by Guruji TV. This YouTube video is a translation of the Tamil video of our renowned astrologer Jyotish Mahaguru Aditya Guruji. The link of the original version that is the Tamil video is given in the description box of this video. This is astrologer Deepa and I am presenting you the English version of the Tamil video. In my last video I explained about the effects of sun in different houses for the native of capricorn ascendant In this video I'm going to explain about the effects of sun in different houses for the native of aquarius ascendant For the native of aquarius ascendant sun is the lord of 7th house and though it is lord of the 7th house it should not be in the ascendant house what will happen when sun resides in aquarius when sun resides in aquarius it will aspect its own house leo which is 7th house to the ascendant and the aspect will strengthen the house of leo though it strengthens the status of the spouse and it makes the status of the spouse to be high the spouse will dominate the native a lot for example if a male is native of aquarius ascendant and sun resides in ascendant house and aspects leo the wife will be of higher status but she will dominate her husband that is native here sun does not like to reside in house of saturn it will be in a avastha state the only antidote is subhatva so the sun should not reside in the ascendant house now let me explain the effect of sun in second house that is pisces of course this position is considered to be good when seventh house lord is in the second house then there will be income or gain by the spouse the native will gain more wealth post the arrival of the spouse why does this happen because sun resides in house of benefic jupiter now let me explain the effect of sun in third house which is aries sun gets exalted in the third house that is in aries this position is considered to be more favorable it indicates that the status of the spouse is really really high it is considered to be favorable when the lord of 7th house sun is in 3rd house to the ascendant house and also gets exalted since sun gets highest sthana bala in house of aries the spouse of the native whether it is husband or wife will be more intelligent or a higher class than the native the native will definitely see 
more growth, financial growth, will gain more wealth post the arrival of the spouse. For the native, the spouse will be a top administrator of the family. Like Madurai is ruled by Meenakshi, the wife will be the ruler of the family. The Tamilians put forward a gentle question, Unga Vitla Maduraya Chidambarama? To know who is dominating in a family, whether it is wife or husband. It is literally translated as, In your family, is it Madurai or Chidambaram rule? What does this mean? Madurai is an ancient city which was ruled by Goddess Meenakshi, not her consort, the Lord Sundareshwaran. Whereas in Chidambaram, Lord Nadraja has more significance than his consort, Goddess Sivagama Sundari. Therefore, to know whether husband has more power or wife has more power, in Tamil, we simply ask, is it Madurai or Chidambaram in your house? When sun gets exalted in house of Aries, it means it is the rule of Meenakshi. That is, rule of wife. For the native of Aquarius ascendant, sun gets exalted in third house and it is more favorable. When sun, which is the lord of seventh house, a quadrant house is in another quadrant, sun will not deliver much worse effects. Sun will gain some subatva since it resides in house of Venus. Based on the concept that lord of quadrant is in another quadrant, it is considered to be good. Sun should not reside in fifth house, that is in Gemini, for the native of Aquarius Ascendant. When sun resides in fifth house, that is trine, then it will affect the children. The position of sun in the sixth house is better than its position in fifth house. When sun resides in sixth house, that is cancer, whose house lord is moon, though as per Bhavat Bhavam, it is in twelfth house to Leo, it will not deliver much worse effects. And based on strength of the moon, you have to predict the effect of sun. When sun resides in seventh house itself, it will deliver benefits. When sun is Subhatva and it resides in seventh house, it will definitely give a spouse of good status. When sun is in its own house or exalted, Definitely, it will give a wife of good status. But the important question is whether son will deliver a good marital life or not. In order to predict this, you have to check the Subhatva and Pabhatva of son. When son is very strong, it indicates that your wife is of very good status. That is powerful. But there is a question whether you are living happily with this particular wife. When son is very strong, your wife can be even a collector, an IAS officer. But the question is whether this wife can serve as a wife to you. Can she do her duties as a wife to you? Please try to understand astrology with all its subtleties. So you have to go in depth in order to assess the happiness of your marital life. When son is not Pabhatva, it says that wife's personal status is good. As a step ahead, if you want to know whether the marital life with this particular wife will be good or not, you have to check the status of Venus and also the status of 7th house. When sun is in its own house, that is 7th house itself, or exalted, it says that your wife is of good status. The Subhatva of sun will tell you the happiness you gain in your marital life. Therefore, 
Sun should not be in the eighth house, that is in Virgo. The Lord of seventh house should not reside in the eighth house. Being a luminous planet, Sun should not reside in the eighth house to the ascendant house. When Sun resides in eighth house, that is Virgo, it won't deliver good effects. In addition to this, if it is Pavatva, it will deliver worse effects. When Sun resides in 8th house to the Ascendant house and when Dasha, that is major planetary period of Sun, happens, it will not deliver any benefits. Now, let me explain the effects of Sun in ninth house, that is Libra. When sun resides in ninth house, it is not considered to be favorable because it creates Karaho Bhava Nasti. Sun, which is not considered to be a natural benefic, residing in the ninth house is not considered to be favorable. When sun resides in the ninth house, it will not have very bad effects, but it will deliver unfavorable results. The antidote for the position of sun in ninth house is Subhatva. The best position of sun is in the tenth house to the ascendant house which is the house of Scorpio. This position is considered to be very auspicious. Sun will deliver immense benefits when it resides in tenth house. When sun resides in 10th house, you know already that it gains directional strength, that is Digbala, and in addition to this, it is also in the house of its friend. You know Mars and Jupiter are mutual friends. So when sun resides in Scorpio, it will deliver great benefits. And sun resides in Upachayasthana as well, so it will deliver immense benefits for the native of Aquarius Ascendant. When sun resides in 10th house, it will deliver benefits through its significance and house effects. To sum up, sun will deliver benefits when it resides in 10th house. When sun, which is lord of 7th house, is in 11th house, it is good. It will not deliver very bad effects when sun resides in 11th house and definitely you have to check Subhatva and Pabhatva of sun. Now let me explain the very last house that is 12th house to the ascendant house which is Capricorn. The house lord of Capricorn is Saturn. Sun should not reside in the 12th house whose house lord is Saturn. A luminous planet should not reside in 6th or 8th or 12th house to the ascendant house and this is the mobile sign of Saturn which is not considered to be favorable. When sun resides in Capricorn as per Bhavad Bhavam, it will reside in the 6th house to its own house Leo. And the Lord of 7th house is in the 12th house and as per Bhavad Bhavam, it is also in the 6th house to its own house. Sun represents the wife for the native of Aquarius Ascendant and this position is not considered to be favorable. This will topple the status of the wife. To sum up, 12th house that is Capricorn is not a good position for Sun at all. In my next video, I am going to explain about the effects of sun in different houses for the native of Pisces Ascendant. Well, this is question time. When sun resides in ninth house, that is Libra, what is the shortcoming that the native of Aquarius Ascendant will face? Please write your answers in the comment section of this video. In the description box, we have added the playlist link of all English videos so far published. The link of Aditya Guruji's website is also given in the description box of this video. 
that is accessible by both iOS and Android users. The link of Google Play Store app is also given in the description box that is available for only Android users. The Tamil version of this video is also available. Please check the description box. Write your feedback to astro.writers at gmail.com. Thank you.